Good morning, Beyond the Veil. Good morning. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, social media. And we want to thank all of you all who decided to join us this morning for a word of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We just want to welcome you in. And please don't forget to hit, um, hit the share button. Please don't forget to hit the share button. This is an opportunity for us to be able to share the word of God all over. So please hit the share button. And I would like to just thank the selection that we have and to say that we don't own the rights to this music, but we're going to go in and we're going to praise and we're going to worship God before we even get started. Because if God brought you over and you're here with us today on this second day of January, then you have something to praise God about. Uh, so we need to lift up our voice before we can even go any further and begin to give God thanks because he's been good to us. Uh, and we want to thank your Lord. Jesus. Uh, there's nobody like your Lord. Uh, we say thank you, Father. Uh, thank you for ushering us into a new year, God. Uh, thank you for just keeping us, God, uh, in the midst of everything that went on, Lord. Uh, you still so fit to wake us up. Uh, you still so fit to bring us into a new year, God. Uh, so we thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, that here we are, God, uh, on the 2nd of January, Lord, uh, still praising your heart holy name God uh, still giving you all the glory uh, and still thanking your Lord Jesus uh, and so we thank you this morning uh, but we're just gonna worship first uh, mm, hallelujah um, with you, wherever you're at uh, if you can just stand up and give God a hallelujah uh, if you can just stand up and thank God uh, for being so good to you uh, thank God for waking you up uh, thank God for bringing you over uh, we say Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you covered our families, God. Thank you that you're still keeping us, God. Thank you for being so good to us, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for a brand new year. Thank you, Father, for what you're about to do in 2022, Lord. We are excited, Father. And so we just say thank you this morning. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know about you, but I am excited to be in the house of the Lord. I am excited to praise his holy name because he kept me. I don't know about you, but I came to give God glory. I came to lift up the name of Jesus. And so we say thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, God. We thank you because your presence is here, God. We feel your glory cloud even now, God. Your glory is here right now, God. And so we thank you this morning. We're just grateful for your glory that it rests in beyond the veil. God, and rest in our homes, God, and we lift our hands up and praise you, Lord. Your glory will rest there too, Lord, and so we thank you this morning. Oh, God, we're just grateful this morning, Father, and we thank you, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Father, and Father, I come to lift up the name of Jesus. And I say thank you, Lord, that you have given me an opportunity, Father, to be able to stand here and bring forth your word, God. Not my word, but your words, God. And so, Father, I just thank you, Lord. God, I thank you. I thank you, Father, for the shepherd of this house, Lord, that don't think it's robbery to share her pulpit, God, that will allow us to stand up here and bring forth the word of God. We thank Thank you, Lord. Even in our absence right now, God, we still lift up apostle, God, and we ask you to continue to cover her and keep her and bless her, God. We thank you, Lord. I thank one of my ministers, oh God, every one of them, the ministers.
ministries that, and beyond the Lord uh, that even support us even now, God. Uh, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank my family for always supporting me. Even in the midst of everything, they still always push me forward. And so we say thank you this morning. God, we give you glory. Now, Father, as I begin to pray, Lord, I ask right now in the name of Jesus that you will decrease your servant, God, till I am no more, God. But let all of you rise up in me, Lord. Let the words that come out of my mouth, God, uh, that they will hear you and not me, Lord. Uh, so hide me behind the cleft of the rock, God, uh, but for use me, Lord, uh, because I am your vessel, God, uh, a flawed vessel, but I say here I am, God. Uh, use your servant this morning, God, uh, to bring forth your word, God, uh, your revelation, God, uh, your wisdom and your knowledge, uh, and I give you all the glory and all the honor, and it's in Jesus' mighty name that I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning. Mm, y'all, I'm just excited to do what God, what God is having me to do this morning. God says, expect the unexpected. Well, I tell you, today is an unexpected day. And so I'm just grateful this morning. I'm grateful this morning that God will use me in any way he see fit in the name of Jesus. Mm, so I bring forth this word. The word that God gave me was a year of completion. Mm, and the scripture I'll be be coming from is Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 1 through 2 and it reads at the end of every seven years you shall you shall grant a release of debt and this is the form of the release every creditor who you have lent anything to his brother to his neighbor and shall um shall reach it he shall not require um, he shall not require it of his neighbor or his brother, because it is called the Lord's release. Amen. Amen. So, for the Lord your God will bless you. I'm jumping down to verse 6. I'm sorry. For the Lord your God will bless you just as he promised you. He shall, you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. You shall reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. The word that God gave our house and the word that God is having me to bring forth this morning is that we're walking in a year of completion. God began to show me the number seven, not just once, but several times. And the one thing we understand is that when God shows you something more than once, it has been established. So God began to tell me that we're walking in a year of completion, that God is doing a reset in our lives, that things that we were supposed to complete, things that we didn't complete, God has given us an opportunity in 2022 uh, to go in and complete the things, uh, but with not by our hands, uh, not by our might, uh, but it's by the will of God uh, that it shall be done. Uh, and God began to release to me uh, that seven is a holy number uh, and often represent complete or divine fulfillment, perfection, exhortation, and healing, and the fulfillment of promise and oath. So we have to understand uh, that when God begins to tell us something, uh, we got to listen to what God is saying because God revealed this number and it's not by coincidence that, that he began to reveal it going into the um, beginning of a new year. That he began to show the number seven over and over and over again to me. And, and there's a dream that I'm going to share with you because God needed you to understand that he's about to do something that's never been seen before. He's about to do the unexpected. Uh, he's about to do things that you didn't expect him to do. Not only will he fulfill your dreams and your promises that he made to you, uh, but God is going to blow your mind with something totally new and different. Uh, and so uh, as we continue to move forward, uh, I understand that and that we've gone through some, some things in our lives, uh, but this is what I know, uh, that at some point in our lives, uh, we begin to forget about the promise. Uh, at some point in our lives, uh, we begin to give up on the promise. Uh, at some point in our lives, uh, we said it wasn't going to happen, uh, but God, uh, God told me to come by uh, and tell you today uh, that you're walking in a year of completion. Uh, God said he's doing something different. Uh, if he told you to do it, uh, this is the year that you're going to do it. Uh, God is going to move like never before. Uh, if we look at um, Joshua and we begin. 
prayed seven times uh, and God began to tell me uh, that that was something that was done unusual, uh, that that was something that they wasn't even expecting uh, and it's never been done before. Uh, nowhere in the Bible do you read about it uh, that it's been done again. Uh, but God did something unusual. Uh, he did the unexpected, huh? but it was because of their obedience. Huh? You got to remember you got to walk in obedience. Huh? You got to hear what God is saying to you. Huh? And I understand huh, that sometimes huh, we think we hear the God of the voice of God. Huh? But this time, huh, going into this year, huh, God said to me, huh, he will make it plain to us. Huh? We won't have to struggle about it. Huh? We won't have to worry about it. Huh? God is going to make Make his plan and vision clear, huh? but he's going to make it plain to us. Huh? Thank you, Jesus, because huh? God is going to do it. Huh? God is going to do some things uh, that are unexpected uh, in this season and in this year. And so I'm just grateful uh, that God allowed us uh, to cross over. Uh, but remember, our apostle had been telling us uh, that God said, don't leave out of this year uh, without a promise. Uh, and God told me to tell some of you, uh, it's time to go back uh, to 2018 uh, and to 2019 uh, for some things that God promised you uh, that that you left behind. Uh, God said go back and pick them up. Uh, Cause if you go back and pick it up. Uh, and you dare to hold on to it. Uh, God said you'll walk in that year. Uh, the year of completion. Uh, God said you'll walk in. Uh, a year of fulfillment. Uh, God said he'll do it for you. And I thank you Lord. Uh, I thank you Lord Jesus. Uh, Cause God's going to do it. Uh, God's going to do it. Uh, and it's going to happen suddenly. Uh, it's not going to be a delay. Huh? God said he's going to do it. Huh? I hear you, God. Huh? He said he'll move. Huh? He's with you. Huh? He said if you believe, huh? if you believe, he'll do it. Huh? And I remember last year, huh? God gave us the word of blind trust. Huh? And we had to walk in blind trust. Huh? And God said he moved us from blind trust huh, and to a year of completion huh, where because we trusted him last year huh, we're moving in a year huh, where God said he's going to do it for us huh, everything that he promised us huh. so if your God promised you a business huh, it's now time to start your business huh. if God said he's going to wipe out your debt it's now time to get your debt in order huh. if God said he's going to bless you huh, no matter what the blessing is huh, if God said he's going to heal you. It's time to claim your healing. This is the year that God is going to do it. God is going to complete it for you. Whatever you stand in need of. If you just believe that you're walking in that year, that year of completion, God will perform it for you. God told me to tell you this morning. My God, he said get ready. Get ready for an overflow. An overflow of blessings. An overflow of walking in your purpose. An overflow this morning. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For every promise that you made to us, God, you are releasing it. I thank you, Father. But God told me to tell you also that there are some distractions that you have allowed yourself to become a part of. And God said, don't walk over. Don't keep carrying that distraction into this new year. There's some things that are too close to you. There's some things that have been in your way. There's some people you've allowed in your life huh, that has caused a distraction huh, that have caused you not to walk in the promise and, and the fulfillment of God. Huh. But God told me to tell you this morning, huh, you gotta let go of those distractions. Huh. You gotta walk away from them then this year. Huh. Here we are in the second day. Huh. You still got time. Huh. Don't let six months come past huh, and you're still dealing with those distractions. Huh. Don't let six months come past huh, and you're still God is telling us to do something new. God is saying it's time for us to change. It's time for us to let go. To let go of the past things. And begin to move forward. And what he promised us. I don't know about you. But God has promised me some things. Then 2018 and 19. That I had to go back and revisit. And now that I revisit those promises, God began to show me the number seven 
uh, and he said to me, uh, this is the year, uh, the year of completion. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, mm. Thank you, God, uh, for what you are about to do. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, when God told me to tell you uh, that he's going to do the unexpected, uh, he's going to de- do something that's never been seen before. Uh, um, if anybody know me, I can't play basketball. Uh, but I tell you, God took me to a basketball court. Uh, and- and, and I didn't even realize I had been fouled. Huh? But when God says enough is enough, huh? God will step in. Huh? And the referee stepped in. Huh? And they said you had been fouled. Huh? And now you got two free shots. Huh? I wasn't expecting the shot. Huh? And I missed the foul. Huh? Because I was too close to it. Huh? And so I couldn't see the foul. Huh? But God had to step in. Huh? And he told the referee to tell me huh? I had been Fouled. I have been fouled. And God said, here's two more points. I'm giving you a do-over. Because God stepped in and did it. And he gave us a do-over. And so I understand that when I got the ball, I begin to count myself out. God is telling me to tell you this year, don't count yourself out. I told myself I can't shoot the ball because I can't play ball. I said, God, you know I can't shoot it, but God gave me the ball anyway, and what I had the nerve to do was step back, and my first shot went in, and you know a foul is only worth one point, but when God said he's doing it, I stepped in, and my first shot became three points off of a foul, but that's not even the miracle, that's not even what I'm trying to say, because when God God did it. He told me to take the next shot. I had the nerve to step back even further. Don't mess around and let God give you confidence where the confidence wasn't there. God messed around and gave me some confidence and I had the nerve to step back even further. But that ain't even it. I even begin to think I was a pro at it and I had the nerve to shoot the ball with one shot and on when the ball went in I heard it spoke from above four points when have you ever known four points from shooting off of a foul four points from just shooting a ball period but God again to tell me the total came out and it and it had the nerve to say seven you have a total of seven I said my God when have you ever seen it done and so God wanted me to tell you he did something unexpected he did something that's never been seen before and he allowed me to make a four point shot oh my God I don't know about you but when the referee said seven I begin to say seven a year of completion I'm walking into my completion I'm walking Walking into the fulfillment of what God has said to me. Uh, and so I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited because uh, God told me to tell you uh, to come on. Because uh, this is the year. Uh, this is the year uh, that he's going to do it. Uh, you just got to walk in it. Uh, but God had to show me uh, that I had some distractions. Uh, that when I got fouled, uh, I didn't even know I was fouled. Uh, until God stepped in. Because uh, I was too close. So God move me back Cause sometimes we gotta take a step back From even the people we're close to To be able to see what's going on And if you're gonna walk in a year of completion You gotta step back You gotta step back Just to see what's in front of you What's on the side of you What's hindering you It may be somebody you know It may even be a family member It may be an obstacle that you put there but God told me to tell you sometimes you gotta step back cause when that foul come on you sometimes you don't see it you don't see it until it's already fouled you mm, my God my God my God and see I didn't see the foul cause it had already 
Somebody had to step in. It was God that stepped in. And the referee began to say, you've been fouled. You've been fouled. But I'm giving you a do-over. I'm giving you a reset. I'm going to cause you to, I'm going to cause you to make another shot. I'm going to not only give you one shot at it, but I'm going to give you two shots at it. Is God not telling us that he's about to do something? And then he began to show me again on the number seven all over again. He showed it not once, but he showed it three times to me. So it's already established that we've walked in a year of completion. We just got to hold on to it. And everything that God has promised you, things that God has spoken to you, God said, I'm bringing it to pass. You don't have to do it. You just got to um, be obedient to it. And don't try to do it in your might. Because when I begin to talk about the ball, I begin to disqualify myself. And too many times we have disqualified ourselves. Too many times we have, we have told ourselves that we can't do it. Too many times we have let other people speak in our ear. Too many times we have let distractions get in our way. But God told me to tell you that this time uh, he's telling you to take a step back uh, and re-examine yourself, uh, re-examine the situation, uh, re-examine who you're close to, uh, who re-examine who's in your circle, uh, who re-examine who you're sharing your business with, uh, re-examine who you share your dreams with, uh, re-examine yourselves. Uh, Cause sometimes uh, the ones we think are happy for us, uh, those are the ones that's tearing us down. Uh, those are the ones that's in the background huh, telling us that we can't do it. Huh. Those are the ones that disqualified us. Huh. But because we held on huh, to what they had to say, huh, we began to disqualify ourselves. Huh. But I'm here to tell you, huh, when Joshua got the command, huh, God said, fear not, huh, for I am with you. Huh. Fear not, huh. apostle been preaching, huh. Fear not, for the Lord is with you. And here we are in 2022, and God is still saying, Fear not, because I am with you. Fear not, because I will do it. Fear not, but don't walk in your own understanding. God wanted me to tell you that you got to let go. Don't preach get into this year. Don't hold on to it. Don't let six months come. Don't let three months come. Don't let two months come. Don't let the end of this month come. And you're still walking in it. You're still holding on to it. I don't know about you, but God began to show me something. He showed me a pair of shoes, a pair of red shoes, which reflected my heart that I was still holding on to something. That I needed to let it go. And in this season, I said, God, have no way. I'll let it go, God, because I don't want to hold on to the old. I want to walk in my year of completion. I want to walk in what you promised me, God. You said it's already in our hands. And if it's already in our hands, then what's stopping us from doing it? Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. God, you have your way today, God. You have your way today, God. I'm just a vessel, God. I'm just a vessel, God. I'm just a vessel, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, you have your way, God. Have your way, God. Every distraction, God, move it out of our way, God. In the name of Jesus, God. As you are taking us forth, God, you said, I have placed you. And what I have placed in your hand, what you need for the new year. He said, do not doubt. Do not doubt. Too many times we have doubted. Too many times we doubt. He said, if you walk in trust, we got to walk in trust. We got to walk in it. Because God is doing something new and unusual. Something unexpected. Whatever God promised you. Excuse me. Whatever God promised you, hold on to it. Whatever God told you to go back and get, go and get it. There are businesses that need to be open. There are entrepreneurs that God is raising up. There are millionaires that God is raising up. God is raising up the church to do something different. 
God is raising up beyond the veil to do something different. And we're ready for it. But we got to understand that whatever God has promised you, he didn't promise it to me, he promised it to you. It's for you to walk into completion. It's for you to hold on to it because it is going to be fulfilled. God is going to fulfill it. I hear you, God. Hey, she does. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Mm, do not walk in unbelief. Do not walk in unbelief. Too many times we've walked in unbelief. God said, but believe. Believe that it shall be done and it will be done. Believe that this is your year of prosperity. Believe that this is your year of fulfillment. Uh, believe that God is going to keep his promise. Uh, like God told um, the, um, um, the children of Israel, not one promise God made to them did it ever fail. Uh, but every promise that God made to them came to pass. Uh, as he said in Jeremiah 29, uh, that God knows the plans that he had for us. He knows the plan of us to do good and not evil towards us uh, and to give us an expected end. Uh, God has already established what he's going to do. Uh, he's already told us what he's going to do. Uh, he's already given us the dream and the vision. Uh, he's already spoken out to us. Uh, God showed up and beyond the veil this morning uh, and this anointing began to fall. Uh, I walked in not expecting this, uh, but isn't it funny that on my way here God said, just shut up about your sermon. On my way here, God began to tell me that I needed my sermon. On my way here, God began to talk to me. On my way here, I said, God, I should have picked it up. I knew it was on the table, but I thank God that it's in my belly. I thank God that it's God that's doing it and not me. I thank God that he would use somebody like me. I thank God that he revealed the word for the house uh, that he said we're walking in our completion uh, we're walking in the fulfillment uh, of uh, whatever he promised us uh, I am excited uh, I am excited uh, I had to bring out the prayer show uh, so that whatever the enemy tried to do uh, and no weapon formed against us shall prosper uh, I got on my prayer show uh, cause I'm walking in my fulfillment uh, I'm walking in the word of God uh, and no weapon formed against me uh, shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Uh, I declare it over beyond the veil. Uh, I declare it over social media uh, that this is your year of completion. Uh, God needed this word to get out. Uh, God needed this word to be heard. Because uh, some of us have gone through it. Uh, some of us have lost our faith. Uh, some of us have lost hope. Uh, some of us have given up. Uh, some of us have said it's never coming to pass. Uh, but God wanted me to tell you this morning uh, when I stepped in uh, that you're walking in the year of completion. Uh, you're walking in fulfillment and promise. Uh, God will keep his oath uh, like he did with Abraham. Uh, like he told Abraham, uh, oh, you will be the father of nations. Uh, is he not the father of nations? Uh, are the nations still growing? Uh, and do that. And let's still declare her that Abraham is the father, her, the father of nations. Her. So if God promised it to you, her, you just need to walk in it. Her. You need to understand her, that 2020 her, is a different year. Her. 2020 her, is a no new year. Her. 2020, her, God is doing something new. Her. 2020, her, God is fulfilling dreams. Her. 2020, her, God is fulfilling his promise. Mm, yeah, God. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. I hear you, God. Mm. And for those of you that's now, even on social media, those of you that doubt, that's on you. Because I know I believe. And God told me to tell you, doubt not. Doubt not. Doubt not. But if you believe, if you believe, God will perform it. God will do it. I'm here to tell you, God is going to do it. God is doing the unexpected. God is doing the suddenly. Suddenly it's going to happen for you. If you just hold on, suddenly you're going to walk in it. If you just hold on, don't give up. Don't give up in this year. Don't give up. But begin to declare that word over your life. God told me that.
tell you to declare it, uh, to declare it, to declare it, to declare it. Uh, I'm walking in my year of completion. Uh, I'm walking in the promises that God has made to me. I'm walking in every dream and vision that God has revealed to me. I'm walking in it. Uh, I'm walking in it. Uh, and then God showed me uh, for those that are waiting to be married, uh, there's going to be some unexpected marriage this year. Uh, there's going to be some marriages that's going to take place. Uh, I heard the Lord, uh, but not only did he say it, uh, but he began to show it to me. Uh, and it was spoken to me in a dream uh, that there will be marriages this year. Uh, unexpected marriages. God is doing a supernatural. So hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, don't let anybody take your word. Uh, don't let anybody take your promise. Uh, don't let anybody speak negativity in your ear. Uh, if they're not for you, uh, time to let them go. Uh, you still got time. Uh, we're just in the second day. Uh, you still got time uh, to say I love you, uh, but it's time for you to go. Uh, God told me to tell you, uh, don't let any distractions uh, show up this year. Uh, don't let the distraction uh, keep you from walking in your promise. Uh, don't let the distractions uh, keep you from walking in your fulfillment. Uh, God told me to tell you, uh, and I'm here to tell you this morning uh, that God is going to do it. Uh, God is going to do it. Uh, you just got to hold on. Uh, you just got to hold on. Because uh, this is our year. Uh, this is our year. Uh, we've gone through some storms. Uh, we've gone through some trials and tribulations. Uh, we've gone through some loss, some pain, and some hurt. Uh, but now it's time for some joy. Uh, and God is releasing joy. Uh, God is releasing peace. Uh, he didn't say that the storms wouldn't come. He didn't say that the struggle still wouldn't be there. But what he did say, that if you hold on and if you doubt not, you will walk in your year of completion. You will walk in your year of fulfillment. If you just hold on, God said, mm, yes, Lord. Hey, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God said he's going to do it. He said I'm doing it even now. I'm preparing it. But what God said, he will make it plain for us. He will make it plain for us. Whatever it is God has promised you, whatever it is you're about to walk into, you're not going to have to try to figure it out. God's going to make it plain for you. God's going to reveal it to you, but he's going to make it plain. It won't be a struggle, but you got to hold on to it. You got to hold on to it. Mm, my God, mm, Jesus, mm, my God, thank your father. Thank your father. So when the enemy come up and try to snatch your word, the word that God has given, the vision for the house, you got to take your feet and you got to stop on it. You got to tell it that enough is enough. We've already been through enough tragedy. We've already been through enough hurt. We've already had enough pain. But this year, this year, I choose to walk in joy. This year, I choose to walk in peace. This year, I choose to walk in forgiveness. This year, I choose to walk in love. This year, I choose to do something different, not the same as before. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God, we are just excited, Father. We are excited, Lord, because you have given the house of vision, God. You gave the vision to our apostle for 2022, God. You told her to tell us don't walk out of all of the old without the promise, God. And we have crossed over, Lord. You ushers us into a new year, God. And we crossed over without promise, God, uh, we crossed over with everything intact, God. Uh, we crossed over with our health, oh God. Uh, we crossed over in our right frame of mind, God. Uh, we crossed over to serve you, Lord. Uh, we crossed over to lift up the name of Jesus. Uh, we crossed over, uh, and I am excited, uh, but sometimes uh, we got to understand. Uh, we got to go in prayer. Uh, we got to wrap our prayer shawls around us, uh, even when a word comes, uh, because if if we don't protect the word uh, and we don't bathe it in prayer uh, and we don't stay in God word, uh, the enemy will come up on you. Uh, I hear you God uh, and he'll snatch that word from you. Uh, he'll tell you that you're not going to walk in it. Uh, he'll tell you that it's not going to be done. Uh, and some of us get so caught up uh, and we get so distracted uh, with how God is blessing somebody else uh, that we begin to miss our own blessings. Uh, I don't know about you, but when I hear somebody got blessed, I begin to praise them. I begin to praise God because I'm happy for them. And so I am excited.
completion. I'm waiting for it, and I'll be able to praise God for it because he said it. It wasn't me that said it. It was God that said, I take no credit, but I will praise God for you. I'll thank God that he fulfilled it. I'll thank God that he blessed you. So get ready. Get ready beyond the veil. Get ready, social media, for those that dare to believe. Get ready, because God's about to do something that's unusual, something unexpected, something that's never been seen before, something that's never been done before. God's about to do it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm, God, I thank you because sometimes God will give us a word, a word that's hard for other people to understand, a word that you don't even know how to comprehend, a word that you refuse to hold on to and believe. And when the enemy will come up against you, the enemy tried to keep me from speaking even on, on Friday night. He tried to take my sight, but isn't that something? Because God had already put it in me. It was already inside of me. All I had to do was open my mouth. I said, God, Oh, God, you use me, God. Whatever it is, I'm still going to do it, God. I'm still going to come forth, oh, God. I'm still going to believe, God. I'm still going to speak, God. Whether I can see it or not, God. I may can't see it in the flesh, but I can see it in the spirit. And that's enough for me. I'm here to tell you all that God is saying, you got to see that the blessings, the promise are being completed in the spirit. If you look at it in the flesh uh, then you're gonna miss it huh? cause God showed me something huh? and I had to ask God uh, was I in the spirit huh? or was it in the natural huh? and I believe it was first in the spirit huh? and then God performed in the natural huh? so I'm here to tell you huh? you gotta see huh? that you walked in a year huh? of completion in the spirit huh? before you can even see it in the natural huh? amen thank you Jesus huh? mm, thank you Jesus Jesus, uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, my God, uh, God is good. Uh, God is good. Uh, God has been good. Uh, and if he's brought you here, uh, if he brought you over uh, into 2022, uh, then get ready uh, for God to blow your mind. Uh, get ready uh, for the supernatural. Uh, get ready uh, for God to do the unexpected. Uh, get ready uh, for God to do the suddenly. Uh, get ready uh, for God to open doors. Uh, get ready ready uh, for God to pull out blessings. Uh, get ready uh, to receive your healing. Uh, get ready uh, to start your business. Uh, get ready uh, to walk in the new. Uh, get ready uh, for your promotions. Uh, get ready uh, for whatever God said to you. Uh, whatever God promised you. Uh, if you hold on to it, uh, God is going to perform it this year. Uh, I'm holding on uh, and I'm holding on tight. Uh, I'm not letting go. Uh, I don't know about you but I'm not letting go I'm holding on and in the midst of it I'm praising God I'm praising my way through it so when storms come up I need you to praise your way through it when the enemy try to distract you I need you to praise your way through it I need you to begin to worship God and reverence God for who he is cause he is Alpha and Omega he is the great I am that I am he he is the king of kings. Uh, so I need you to begin to reverence God uh, for who he is uh, and hold on to your word. Uh, hold on to the word. Uh, this is the word that God gave me uh, for 2022. We're walking in a year of completion. Don't let anybody, don't let any distraction, uh, don't let this yourself be too close to the foul. Don't allow yourself to be too close that while you are being foul, you miss it. You miss what God is about to do. What God is about to do. We have got to learn to step back sometimes and examine where we're at. Because distractions are going to come up now. Because this is a word that God said he's going to fulfill. Every seven years, it says this is a release of the Lord. God is releasing something. We stepped in January the 1st. On the seventh day of the week. No coincidence. That we stepped in. A new year on the seventh day. 
No coincidence that God began to show the number seven. No coincidence that God began to say this is the year of completion, that we're walking into everything that God has promised us. He's going to fulfill it. I thank you all for this opportunity to be able to share God's word. But I would be remiss if I didn't ask if there was anyone that needed salvation, that needed to, to give their life to God. So I ask this morning that right where you're at, if you're ready to walk into, com into the year of completion, not just with the promises, but with eternal life yes. and what God has offered us. I ask you to repeat after me. Just raise your hand. Father, forgive me of my sins. I ask that you come into my life, that you come into my heart, God. And I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is the, is the son of God and that you raised him in three days from the dead. And so I accept you into my heart and into my life. Have your way. If you prayed that prayer, you are saved. And I ask for those that would like to give their tithes and offerings. At the bottom of the screen, it is scrolling for where you can give your tithes and your offering. And if you would like to sow a seed. And for there's anyone that needs prayer, you can put it in the comment box. There are ministers, there are intercessors that will reach out to you and pray with you and will walk you through this. It's not going to be easy. It's never easy to make a change. But just know that when you make the change for God, it becomes easy because reward is eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen.